What is going on, everybody? We are back with some more Guardian Animals Druid. I have played GA Druid from Gold 10 to Diamond 5. And with that, I've gotten about, about a 75% win rate, give or take. I'm like 16 and 5. The deck is really good. It's really consistent. The reason I'm doing another video is for two reasons. The first one is me and Zaj played some games together and had a really good time with it. I want to show some of this game off. The audio is a little wonky on that. Don't really know why. It just kind of turned out that way. So I apologize. And I also want to do a guide on this video. Uh, so we're going to go into the clients and just look at the cards in the deck and talk about why they're in there and how you should mulligan for them. So we'll get into that, guys. Before we do, I want to remind you guys to like and subscribe. With reveal season coming up, it starts March 16th. We will be having a whole bunch of stuff, content related to that. So I encourage you guys to like and subscribe so when that happens, you guys are prepared because there's going to be a lot of good stuff, I promise. Without further ado, let's get into the deck. All right, so the deck I was playing up to Diamond 5 ran Speaker Gidra. The Vicious Syndicate list runs two spots for Overflow. However, I cut that for Speaker Gidra. That stuff that run uh, that card was a card Rumham was running. So, and I kind of found that Speaker Gidra, all in all, was a little bit awkward. Yes, Speaker Gidra can snowball pretty well, but sometimes it just sticks in your hand. There is a there is a game where it just deals 18 damage and it's phenomenal. But when I got to Diamond Five, I kind of thought after looking at a qualifier list to replace that with Emerald Drake, Emerald Explorer. I'm sorry, Emerald Explorer fills a few roles. One, it is a value generator with the discover effect. It is a taunt to fend off aggro, but it is also an activator for Breath of Dreams. So this list cuts the clown package, so Carnival Clowns and Yasharaj and other corrupt cards and Yogg-Saron for some more early game survivability. Breath of Dreams is one of the cards that comes with that package. While well, Wild Growth costs three mana and is has no condition, it's just gain one mana crystal. Breath of Dreams is card draw, and if you have a dragon, it's gained a mana crystal. And because we have cut the clowns, we can run cards like Dreaming Drake, Elmer Explorer, and Ysera. And Dreaming Drake is just a really well statted 3-drop minion that gets even better when it's corrupted. And having Emerald Drake is just really good for the Breath of Dreams condition. Aside from that, in the mulligan, we're looking for broken cards like Lightning Bloom, and Overgrowth, as well as Nature Studies, which Nature Studies is really good because it can discount your upcoming ramp cards, like Overgrowth. But the main draw of this deck is to create a bunch of pressure with, oops, that's the wrong card, I'm sorry, with Guardian Animals. Guardian Animals pulls two beasts out of your deck that cost five or less and gives them rush, so it's an immediate board presence. And the three beasts who run in the deck are Twilight Runner, which when it attacks draws you two cards, so it's refill for your ramp. And give me a second while I get to them. But the other two are uh, Lake Thresher, which with the cleave effect is a pseudo board clear, and Moonfang, which is an incredibly sticky minion. Now, I understand that you may not have Moonfang because it is a legendary, and maybe you just don't, didn't buy the bundle. If you don't, feel free to run Teacher's Pet. It's a sticky minion also. It creates a body after it dies. Moonfang is just really good once you buff it as plus four, plus four with Survival of the Fittest. Then again, most cards are pretty good when you do that. Aside from that, because we are running such high cost spells like Guardian Animals, like Overflow, and Survival of the Fittest, we can get our some few cards to zero cost, like a new Soft Defender, which is Taunt, so it has immediate impact on the board. And also Strongman, which is a corrupt card. The thing to note between a new Soft Defender and Strongman is that Strongman will always cost zero, so you do not need to play Strongman immediately. A new Soft Defender will only cost zero for the turn that you activate its effect. Aside from that, we also run Survival of the Fittest. This card can be played mostly at any time because the reason we're not running clowns anymore is clowns don't come down on 9, they come down on 11, which is after you play Survival of the Fittest, after they're corrupted, and it's really clunky and awkward. It 
dies much more to aggro than this version does. But Sorrel the Fizz, we can play at any time, and it just gives all our minions plus four, plus four. Sometimes it's a 10 mana bloodlust. It's a good 10 mana bloodlust. Also, if we want to wait till after we play Ysera and draw some portals, we can play Sorrel the Fizz to buff the dragons we just played for free. Ysera is really good into overflow, so you play Ysera, overflow, and then draw a few cards. And some of those might be portals. And that is just about the deck. I'm just looking over the list again, and there's one card I'm forgetting, and that is Animated Broomstick. So, if this deck can fall behind on board pretty easily because your minions aren't very impactful when they're played, and we're trying to ramp, an Animated Broomstick is really good at catching you up if you fill your board with Dragon Portals or just a minion, giving it Rush Can, make an impact on the board. If you aren't 6 mana, you can animate a broomstick, a lake thresher, which will clear the opponent's board. Or you can do it with twilight earners, which will draw you cards, which can get you to a point where you can just overtake the board. All in all, this deck looks to put on a ton of pressure, and usually that pressure your opponent can't deal with. Um, like I said guys, I'm 16 and 5 with this deck, which equates to about a 75% win rate. The deck is very powerful, I encourage you to try it out. And look at those options if you don't have some cards. Um, Overflow, you can run two of those instead of an Emerald Drake. And you can run a Teacher's Pet instead of Moonfang if you don't have Moonfang. Uh, aside from that, you do need the rest of the cards. There's not really a budget option for this list. But guys, remember to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you all later. Take it easy. Because it'll be literally 65 hours of a game. Yeah, I just can't. I can't do that. <laughs> so we keep the studies and send everything else back, right? Yes. That's my gut reaction. Progress. Okay, so this nature studies always discovers guardian animals, so we always win. Oh, yeah, you just nature studies and hold it for the overgrowth. Oh, that's so true, right? I mean, crystal power or nourish. I mean, you're not playing either one of them for a while. My thought is we overgrowth on three into nourish on six into a defender right, oh. or something. I don't know. Yeah, we're never take taking, nourish. We're never picking germination. <laughs> that was only ever used for evil. <laughs> Oh, that's fine. I can. I don't care about that. Oh, just hero power and take the shield off. Yep. It's okay. They always buff it next turn. That so way it doesn't matter. Well, yeah, and that that way uh, it's less bad if they buff it because at least it's not buffed with a shield. Oh, look at that! They buffed it. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine though. Yeah, it's not bad. It's better in the hand. Better in the hand. There's some draw too, which is nice. Oh, that's fine too. They just play a can of it all here. Oh, this is Hyrule deck. Uh probably. No, it has Librams. No, it's not. Oh, that's true. It's not. It's. Just, it's uh... So let's get two mana crystals. That runs. That runs. And play a three five. That runs the two three to draw the. Uh, Watchers. Um. The yeah, yeah the four six. So they can definitely clear this three five, which is fine. I can play just play Ysera next turn, which is also fine. Yeah. You know, that's the only legendary from Descent that I don't have. It's weird that he's not... I guess, I guess he's fighting for board, which makes sense. But it's weird that he's not killing off the 2-3. Oh, I mean... Do you want to you wanna just play the Ysera? Yes, because I want to draw five cards next turn. And make a board of Dargons. Well, Ysera is much better when you have much less of a deck. It's also a 412, which is also good. Yeah, until they play Liberum of Justice. Yeah, but that sad. that's not killing 
survival. That's not killing dragons and survival of the fittest cards. So I'll take it. So you would need to, if you overflow, you'll burn a card. I can, oh, I can do that. I can ditch the coin, which is fine. Or I could play the Twilight Runner Bloom or the Moonfang Bloom and then be fine. I think that's, I think that's probably what you do. Yep. We, we, do we, we play the, we play the, I don't know. What's, what's better, Moonfang or Draw 2? probably Moonfang because you don't need to draw. You're going to have a handful of cards. True. There's one. Did you find a portal? There's mm. a broom. Broom could actually be really good here too. A coin broom? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I like coin broom. You can still animals now. Yep. This seemed good. One here. Uh, let's keep the taunt healthy and do that. That was good. Yep. That was uh, solid, as they say. <laughs> as the kids are saying these days. <laughs> yeah, so I think the Moonfang there was good because it stays alive. Yeah, with Broom, it's pretty good. And you get to work on your... Do we want to... Overgrowth into Gidra next turn. That makes it a makes it a five nine five nine. I, we can I trade the Moonfang in once and then trade me. the Gidra in once. Yeah, sure. You got survival next turn, which seems good. Yep. You can even draw a card here just for funsies. The plan. The other thing we could do is trade the 3-3 three, three in. Keep the Gidra healthy. Yep. Yep. I like that a lot, too. And if they get taunts next turn, we can guardian animals and just get two Lake Threshers. Seems good. So we're getting him for a lot next turn. At 19 right now. There's the watcher. Oh, that's cute. So it's 19, 19 plus 12 is lethal, so let's just do that. Plus 12? Yeah. Because of the survival of the fittest. Oh, I see what you're saying. Let's just yep. do let's yep. just win the game here. It's a large Gidra. Well, we kept the Gidra healthy. That seemed good. Who knew not who balls were good, right? It's an angry, beefy Gidra. And that's Diamond. Oh, really? Yeah. So, what are the chances that this is Aggro Rogue? Uh, I mean, aren't you kind of. This is Diamond's head, so it's probably pretty high, right? It's either that or we can that or combo. We can be combo rogue. I don't think we can be dagger rogue. Um, By the way, you don't want any of this stuff in your hand. Okay, so just get rid of it all. Cool. I mean, Gidra's the only one that's even maybe a keep. Yeah. But I. Whew. Well, we, is... we got the good card. Um, can you live till then? <laughs> absolutely not. Not without any ramp. Um, we have Gidra though. Okay. Kept two cards. Turn didn't one. Play anything. Turn one off. Might be and they, combo. And they kept two cards, which is. Swin. No, they have coin. They could have swin. I don't know. I think we're temp. We're. Okay. I don't think we're tempoing Gidra anymore. Nope. It it was it was within reason until that was their turn one and two. I am like hesitantly scared because sometimes aggro takes like doesn't get a good draw and then they just pop off. 
Oof. Okay. Oof. We're still not playing Gidra in this no, game. No, you're just, you're just punching that thing. Yep. Don't let him step it. I do think, though, even if you... Did you just pop a cork? Hmm? Did you just pop, like, a cork or something? Oh, my God. No, it's probably... We always get her this, right? If it if he doesn't shadow step it. Yes. This is so bad. Why are you doing this? This is not worth the value you think you're getting. Well, think of how awkward their hand must be. I want to know what two cards they kept that's still in their hand. I'm gonna feel really bad if I. I really want Broom Knight this turn. Oh my gosh, that is that's not the play there, friend. It's <laughs> not it. Let's let's uh, let's get rid of this. I really don't care about this Gidra anymore. We'll bump one of those so they have to trade in. What the heck? I'm really confused. It's this, this person doesn't know what they're doing. What are you doing for six mana? I'm so I'm gonna confused. flick your Gidra. They're probably gonna play an Edwin. Like, that's what they have to be able to up to. Yep, if they're stabbing their own minion. Yeah, they're playing Edwin. Um, so we just need to survive for three turns. That's not easy to do. So that's probably one of the cards I think was an Edwin. I guess you do keep it on the coin. One of them was prep. Yeah, this is going to be a large Edwin. They hired they hired me. This game. This is going to be a gargantuan Edmund Edwin. <laughs> oh, he got um, he got off roll kick too. That sucks. Um, so let's play a taunt, I guess. Yes. That was a good top deck. Three five, and you might be hard casting a strong man. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing that for sure. But then you can guardian animals. Oh boy. Are you kidding me right now? Cool. So we're playing. Oh. No. If we survive, we might not win, but we're closer to winning. Oh, bloom animals? Yep. Maybe? Yep. And <laughs> One of these needs to be a Lake Thresher. Yeah, that positioning on their part was pretty bad. Nailed it. Yep. And I think I'm going to two cards also. Hi, I would. Okay. No flick. No flick. They're running... No, this is not a hard run, Edwin. This is a roll kick, Edwin. Still. I, I This is a flick. I'm already in... Okay, it's not a flick. Okay. No, I knew that was the mage spell. That only does one damage. Okay. This person, your opponent, does not deserve to win this game. <laughs> it's not how poorly they've played this. That was the same thing Let, about the mage opponent. They let's still not, won, let's so. not talk shit until we like have stabilized, okay? We can talk shit after the Zed one's gone. Until then, we're dealing with a 16 of tech minion, which <laughs> isn't fun to deal with. I'm just saying. I still don't think they've played very well. I, I don't either, but 16... There we go. It's only one health now. And their positioning is horrendous. This is what is going on? Get right the Edwin in the middle. What just happened? Because you. I'm very concerned about what just happened. Um. Okay. 
Okay. Yep. Um, I want to over. I want to breath of dreams this turn. Mm -hmm. So I can get to ten mana. And I want to studies. Mm -hmm. And get this iron bark. I'm gonna play it mm -hmm. for free. And I, I'm playing on the four three, right? To mm -hmm. buff. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, I think we're okay right. now. Yeah. Oh boy. We're still okay because six <laughs> mana isn't great for evocation. This is just a clown fiesta, though. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm also okay with that. I'm gonna play um, two minions instead of the survival this turn. I think Moonfang and Thresher are better because then we can set up with the survival for next turn. Do you have anything left for guardian animals or no? I have one Twilight Runner. Okay, that's not worth it. If yep, I had a... Yep. So the Moonfang goes in the middle. Okay. Next turn, we win. And they can't Pyroblast us, and it won't matter anyways. This could be dumb. This is less dumb now, but still dumb. Significantly sure. less dumb. By all means, take do that. Perfect. No brain freeze. Um, and no taunt, Mikey. Yeah. We win. Mm -hmm. Do the do the thing. Do, let's hit them in the face. Yeah, they played that awful. That was not great by by their standards. Um, cool. So I'm seven and one with this deck. Just want to point that out. Maybe that does play that deck. 